Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to another video. My name is GGJ and today we're going to be talking about in Hordes.io should multiboxing be allowed? Stay tuned. But first, let's get to a better view. Right, there we go. Just zoom it down a bit. There we go. So, as you can see, we've got buff bots everywhere and there is literally bots all over the game now. Now, first and foremost for this video, I want to set some criteria. And what that means is, um, why are buff bots in the game? Why are they being used? Uh, what, you know, what purpose are they being used for? All right? And why the staff are keeping them in, the reasons behind it, right? Now, this is my take on things, you can take it as you will. And now a bit of a disclaimer, I have, uh, I am in contact with the staff. Uh, B, I do not hate the staff, I have no problems with Hordes.io itself. I do not hate the staff, I have nothing against the developer or any such things, okay? Now with that being said, let's dive right into it. First up, what are buff bots for? Right, what are they? Right, so the premise is uh, someone will basically multi box. What is multi boxing? You can take four other accounts and your main, and you basically level those up. You get an account to 45, you gear it, then you take four other bots and you open separate tabs and you log them in, and boom, 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 you level them up, off you go. And you basically take up an entire spawn spot once you've got it. Unless PvP comes along and that person doesn't know how to multi box in PvP, then he dies, then they lose that spot. It, pretty much that simple. Now, um, well, okay, why is this unfair? I hear people say. Well, first off, you're taking resources away from other people when you could be just leveling your one account and, you know, being with other players in the game, playing, so you're taking away from others. Uh, B, uh, you can flood and break the economy of the game. Why? Because these people will literally just farm, 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 and get all the money for themselves because every time one person loses, they get everybody gets a share of the money. That person then just trades all that money back to his main, and that person just gear himself really fast. Smart thinking, you think, right? Yes, that's great. But then if they want to sell something that they get, they can put it in and they can keep grinding and keep getting gear and over extending, uh, uh, just over price things, right? And they basically do that. Uh, the other one is what are the buff bots used for once they've leveled, right? Once they're geared and stuff like that, people are now PvPing with them. They're learning to PvP, multi boxing PvP. This sucks. I've had it against me multiple times. It's one of the reasons I'm not playing anymore. Uh, I'm, I'm still playing Hordes, obviously, I'm standing in the game now. But there are some of the. Uh, I, I just. I'm not putting any more money into the game. I'm not buying the premium or anything of the such. And that is basically that. Uh, PvE, like they're, you know, again, taking spots off of people and stuff like that. But in PvP, multi boxing is a pain in the backside, okay? Like, if you ever come up against a freaking two shamans, three mages, hmm? or two, sh two um, mages, three shamans as multi boxers, it's impossible. You physically cannot beat them. You physically cannot beat them. It's a virtual impossibility. Okay, it's not been done. And if someone's going to type in the comments below and tell me you've done it, I'm going to call you a liar. I'm sorry. It's physically impossible to beat them. Right? If you're roaming as a solo or even in groups, no. Now I don't know who it was. I'm not going to point out names because I don't actually know. Um, this is somebody. You can take this as a grain of salt. I was told that there's two uh, PVP buff groups going round and ganking people as in multi boxes. That's gotta take some skill, first and foremost, so congratulations on managing to pull that. Uh, and the second thing is, what was the other one? Yeah, yeah, right, right. So, so basically, why it's just not balanced, right? First and foremost, these people are fame farming as well. You're gonna see a lot of them, not these ones in particular, these Mr. Overbuff, four, five, three, and two, almost six, and eight, and whatever, these guys are, you know, these guys are actually buff bots. This person comes back, he's farming out there. In fact, he's probably, let's just turn around, probably farming over here somewhere. Runs back, gets buffed by a, oh, a mage. Another mage. 
Another mage. Oh, and an archer. Okay, so this person's got an archer. Fair play. Right? Oh, wrong one. But yeah, so there we go. Now, let's go into the next part. Why are the staff, or deck in particular, I will say deck because it's his game, he decides who gets banned and stuff. Right? Why is nothing being done about it? Quite simple. Said person will buy elixir, hordes elixir, for each and every single one of them. Why? Inventory space. You get 25 bags, inventory space, you get more, um, you get more inventory space. Well, I'll tell you, hang on, let me tell you what you get. You get, um, there you go. No ads, 25 base bag slots, 100 stash storage, merchant limit, and 24 hour merchant duration. And that is why they buy it, right? Basically for the bag spots, because they can get them to level 45, put a purple deep stuff up there, get it to plus five, plus six, boom. Each individual um, person will just get so much, hello potty, and boom. And again, I don't even blame Deck if that's one of the reasons. I do not blame him, hang on, hi hi. I don't blame him if that's the reason why in this climate right now in this time this um, and this is gonna be, be nothing but purples yep I'm pot he's basically you know farms purples and just throws them at me um I don't blame deck right I don't blame him for that because everybody's got to keep the lights on he's got to keep the server running right so uh, the reason I'm saying this is because, and I am going to call you out, MDL. Uh, he's in there in just a minute. He's he, he's in there. He's playing in the game now. Um, he said in the Discord, it's what's best for the game. And I've been told Deck's not going to change anything to do with multi boxing. Right? Uh, and the reason for it is other. Uh, you're going to get this, and then I'm going to give you my point of view afterwards. But right, just so I'm not ranting, and you know why I'm saying this. Um, their, their, their defense is it happens in all MMOs, which by the way, that's a fact. We do get them in a lot of MMOs, a lot of free to play MMOs, especially. Uh, WoW has died down, there's no hardly any multi boxes now. Um, and well, anyway, that's the point, right? So, here's my point of view, right? Multi boxing is a stain, okay? It's a, it's a goddamn stain, like. The game, ports, it's too small for multi-boxing, right? At this level, like, if I was to log on my VG, my god, you would see tons of them. It is too small to allow this many, right? Not only that, they're taking up farm spots, right? And we can't farm them if they're on our faction, right? And most people play one faction and only that, right? And that, henceforth, people are quitting the game. Our population has dropped a lot. Now, any staff member that's going to comment or any people that are downvoting this video, whatever, uh, or people saying that's not true, no, it really is. I know that because I've got video proof of it is. Just go look at my videos and yeah. This is Bloodlust, by the way. Take a look. That is it. That is the legitimate. Yeah, this is it. This is all there is of Bloodlust at present. No, there is not many people down there farming. It's literally what you see. VG have the higher numbers now, which is great. That's the first time for a long time. I like it. But sadly, it's all for now. Right? You know, if, like I said, if they're doing it just to keep the lights on, fair play. Um, you know what? Farm them. They're farming. They're paying, right? Okay. But again, so many people are quitting. You've got all the top guilds. They've gone. All of them have gone. Name me one major top guild that's still in there. That what that was a no a, a named guild, right? Right? Not these new guilds, like, and not the new P, uh, BFB. That's like you know, you know that's just a bunch of new people playing, right? Let's be honest, it is. Chap is another one. That's Papers um, Guild. Um, that doesn't count. I'm on about like Cars' guild, all the going back to um, Bills' guild and stuff like that. All the big name guilds that were there. Right? I'm not going to bother listing off the names of my, of my top five clans. You can check that out. There's a bunch of them on there. Server's about to restart. But bottom line is, there was too much. There's too much change. Uh, a lot of people quit after the major update. Um, 
that was a monumental mess up. Uh, nobody can kill mages. They ignore defense. That's a fact, by the way. They physically ignore defense. I don't know if actual. I don't even know if the staff know about that. It ignores defense. As soon as Chilling Radiance hit, you get 500% to crit. And with Ortic Aura, you get more crit. <laughs> and therefore, you just two shot everybody. And yeah, you physically two shot everybody. And that was enough to make a good percentage of people quit. They've gone back to their old games. Most of the population went back to Albion. I was went back to RuneScape. Most of the people that came here were from World of Warcraft because they saw something they liked. The two faction sides uh, reminded them of Classic and they could play for free. They have sadly brought re renewed their subscription. And if this, if you're, you know, if, this, if you guys were trying to drive players away, you did a great job. Well done. You've succeeded. But sadly, this is not something we want. As, as someone who loves hordes, and I do love hordes, and I know that seems weird, me bitching about it right now, but I'm just looking at my content. I love hordes. I love this game, and I know so does Bulval, so does Luffer, so does uh, Damage Fury, uh, you know, you name it, Tassels. We are all content creators, right? And we love making content for this game. But we can't make content for this game when everything is legit OP. All you see is mages and shamans now, right? The game went from 80%, 80% archers to literally mages. Mage, 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 mage. Like the buffs, when I showed you the buff bots, um, and which talk about the buff bots here, they come logging in. There's one. Wait for it. We'll wait for the other ones. There's another. Come on, log him in. Of course, the server restarted, so they've got to, you know, individually load the tab, which means he's got to click on the tab, let it load, click on the tab, let it load, click on the tab, let it load, just so they come in. But yeah, there's a lot that's going on with um, hordes that a lot of people aren't enjoying, and so they're moving on. The problem is, in this day and age, you make a cock up, guess what? You don't get those players back. You know, you lose the player's trust. And quite frankly, I'm the same. Am I quitting hordes? No, why? I said I would legitimately stay for a year. That's what I've done. I've been here four months now. I'm going to keep going, you know. Uh, but we're doing other things on stream. We're doing Minecraft now and stuff like that. And which, as you can see, I'm still retaining my numbers. And in fact, we're gaining more subs and gaining more followers. So it's not really a loss to me. So to me, I think they need to take a hard look at multiboxing and say yay or nay. So in the comment section below, guys, you have your say, right? I say no, the game's too small to have multi-boxes. I think it shouldn't be allowed. It, the game's too small. It is legitimately too small, right? Not player numbers, but I mean actual size. The game is too small, right? And a lot of people are saying, you know, we're just leaving. We're not gonna bother voting. We're not gonna bother anything. We're just out. It's physically driving players away from the game, okay? And the mage update again, that screwed everything up balance wise. But yeah, so guys, in the comment section below, do me a favor. Let me hear what you have to say. I would love, I want to actually be in a debate with you guys about this. I want to know what you guys honestly think about this, right? You know my feelings on it. I don't agree with it. I think it's stupid. Um, but you let me know, okay? And also guys, if you could do me a massive favor, like this video and remember to subscribe. We're almost to 800 subscribers, like literally almost to 800 subscribers. Please, please do. And of course, leave a comment below. I wanna hear what you have to say. Discord link in this uh, section below, along with all my other social media. Check them out as well, post on them daily. Until next time, thanks for watching.